Hi, welcome to Artisan Quick Tips with Jennifer. I'm Jennifer Wise, and Artisan is a pretty amazing digital scrapbooking software platform. If you are new to Artisan, I have some fast facts for you. And you can pause the video and sort of read over them and learn a little bit about Artisan kind of in a nutshell. Down at the bottom is my email address if you have questions. And right above it is my uh, website where you can find Artisan. So today I'm going to tell you about how to quote unquote cut um, edges of paper in Artisan. Let's go over to Artisan now and I'll show you what I mean. <clears throat> I have another Artisan quick tip about giving the edges of your paper, your digital paper, sort of a ripped look. And this is very similar only you can cut actual shapes, edges, uh, uh, shapes out of your edges. So here we go. I've got um, a nice little art collection up over here that has a few um, subtly patterned papers. I think that will show it to you better. You'll be able to see better what I'm talking about. So I've got a paper here. <clears throat> now, if I want to cut, a shape out of the edge of one of my of this paper, one of the edges of this paper. Here's what I do. I drag the paper onto my page and then I come up here and you'll see along the top there are all these different tabs and as you click each one a little ribbon will come underneath it. So for home you get all these options, for insert you get all these, but I want cut so that I can cut the edge of my paper. From here, I select straight. There's a little drop down menu there. And um, I've got, like I said, a different artisan quick tips about ripping the paper. But today we're going to look at shapes. You want to give um, your paper a shaped edge. Click this. Once you do, you'll see an entire um, option, a whole bunch of options over here for what to do. So if you want your paper to be cut this direction, then go ahead that way. Otherwise, you can come over here to angle and you can actually move it around if you want it to be cut, say, this angle. All right, so let's start with this one. From, <clears throat> if it's the, once it's the angle you want it to be, come up here to shape. Click the little black triangle there and you can choose, um, all these different edges. There's pinking shears, um, scallops, etc. Let's try pinking here. I'm going to click that, select that shape, and you can make a few adjustments here, like how wide in between you want the little triangles to be. <clears throat> Once you are ready to go, you need to, to choose whether you're going to keep the shaded area. So once this is cut, which part gets thrown away? the shaded area or the unshaded area? Do you want to keep this part, the unshaded area, or do you want to keep this part, the shaded area? For now, let's just keep the unshaded area like it's marked and we'll click cut. And now you'll see the pinking shear effect. Takes just a minute, there we go, see? So there's that lovely little pinking um, edge on that particular paper. So let's look at another one now. Let me actually just delete that one. There are other edges too. I, I tried the pinking, but there are some other edges as well. So let's try the blue <clears throat> paper here. And let's go back to the cut straight. So the cut um, tab and then the straight option in the ribbon below, and we'll go back to shaped edge. So let's say we could try, we could try this little scallop. Should we do that? Select shape. Um, I guess I'll, I will just go ahead and keep the unshaded area. Click cut. It'll take just a minute and there we go. So there's another different type of edge that you could use. I think these are kind of fun. So I'm gonna delete that one. And the last thing I'll show you is actually how to, let's say that when I'm putting this on my page, I just, just want it to be along the top. 
So I don't want the, um, the straight up and down. I want the side to side. I don't want, I want horizontal, not vertical cut. So again, go back to cut. Now that I've, you know, clicked on my, my new paper here, my new brown paper, go to cut, go to straight, select, select shaped edge. And then we'll, oh, we'll just go back to pinking. That's easy. Okay. And then I want to switch the angle now. I want the angle to come all the way around to 90 and it, it scooted way up so I can't see it. So actually, hold on, let's zoom a little bit out and move that down so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so shaped edge, we'll keep that. Okay, well, and now it's moved the angle for me. Ha ha, okay. So now I'm going to click, because I moved it to zero, it remembered it from last time. Now I'm going to click cut. And now I will have a horizontal, look a, a cut across my horizontal paper instead of vertically. So this would be a paper that I could put this way or whatever. So that's how you can add um, shapes, if you will, to the edges of paper that look like you've cut them with fancy scissors. Um, if you found this video helpful, please like it so other people can find it. And if you would like more videos about photos, digital scrapbooking, um, memory keeping, artisan, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see more as well. Thanks.